So tons of people are always asking me about which leveling method they should stick to so that they can reach max level as soon as possible. They want a quick and easy answer that they can rely on to get them consistent results. And while it isn't always that simple, I do have two secrets that allow me to level up endless characters over the years, and I'm about to teach them to you right now. Before we get into it, make sure that you subscribe so that YouTube knows that you like these kind of videos. All right, so I've enjoyed WoW leveling as long as I can remember. Whenever retail WoW got bad, I jumped on vanilla servers like Nostalrius and Elysium back in the day. Private servers had a very unique situation where it was really easy to share characters because all you needed to make an account was an email address. You didn't have to pay for anything or use a credit card or any of that. I'd constantly run into people in my guilds wishing they had a certain ult, but they didn't have time to level it. And because I was broke, we'd strike up a deal to level them one as soon as possible. Because of this, I had to be really intentional with my leveling about not wasting time. But at the same time, I had a long list of clients and I couldn't risk getting burnt out. This is where I discovered the most important factor, passion. If I wasn't having fun playing the game, it didn't matter how efficient the leveling method was, I would take way more break and take way more time than if I was having fun. WoW greatly rewards you for one key factor alone, the time that you put into the game. And the best way to maximize this is for it to actually be enjoyable for you. So if you're really dreading doing something, you shouldn't do it no matter how good it is. But don't worry, that's not my only tip. I personally find it easy to have fun lots of different ways, and I wanted to point out how subjective the game can be, and something might not be faster for you individually just because of how you feel about it. But what other factors are there? Well, let's take dungeon grinding as an example. Everyone knows that dungeon grinding is extremely efficient and usually one of the best ways to level up. All of the top levelers who raced to max this phase basically lived in dungeons, so that's obviously the best answer, right? Well, with a dedicated group of hardcore gamers, of course it is. But what about just jumping into pug groups? In all my years playing the game, I've never joined a spam pug that made it more than four runs without disbanding. Replacing people, waiting around, running a suboptimal comp, and just clearing the place really slow can all make dungeon grinding a horrible method of leveling. I basically have have Zoomer TikTok ADHD in these groups because I actually care about how fast we're going, while everyone else is just absentmindedly getting a level every three and a half hours in these groups without even realizing. And this is where my second secret comes into play, pacing. It's obvious that your speed matters, but no one's really thinking about their overall pace. Don't get me wrong, dungeons aren't always bad, and it's possible to keep a good pace in there, but in general, other players do not care about how fast they're going, and they will slow you down. But remember what I said about enjoyment being subjective? This is relative too. If you're a grandpa who completes three quests an hour, then this could actually speed you up. For me personally, I just focus on those two things. Am I excited to keep doing this? And am I keeping a good pace? And I try to notice if I'm taking long breaks from the game or really easily getting distracted. It really doesn't matter how efficient that one hour of leveling is if you only do that one hour. If somebody else puts in five, they're always going to get more experience than you. I love using the Rusted XP add-on with code KIPSO for a discount because it makes it impossible to have a bad pace. Even before I had a referral code, I always use this add-on to stay on track and avoid running back and forth across the zone 200 times. But even while doing this, I'll occasionally stop and try some other methods. It really doesn't slow me down that much to try something here and there, and there's huge upside. Let me explain. For this video, I'm just going to call this the turtle test. There are tons of mobs around Azeroth that have very decent population, and you can get uncontested. Some of these are all-time favorites of mine, like the Thunder Axe Fortress casters, or the slaves in the Searing Gorge slag pits. You can even find mobs that are not used for anything in the game, no quests. They're just there for role-playing purposes, and they don't always have to be turtles, but a very common one is turtles. Turtles are all over Azeroth and in general have very high armor and very high HP, but deal very low damage. There's always tons of them, and they're neutral mobs, so you can fight them whenever you want. In general, if I'm questing and I'm near some turtles or some other good mobs, I'll kill a few of them. And then judging by how long it took me, how many resources I lost, and what my other options are, I keep grinding them or move on. And even though these are really high armor and shouldn't be good for rogues to kill, they can be depending on the situation. If I'm behind an XP on my route, can't find any dungeons, and all the nearby quest mobs are highly contested, I spent hours along the water just grinding turtles before. Now would I recommend this? No, under normal conditions this is kinda dumb, but with the context above, it actually helped me level a lot faster. The thing that sets out a career leveler from the average player is that they just stop and think, wait, is this actually good? And how do I know? If I can get extremely similar XP just watching a movie and grinding mobs in the corner of the zone, then why would I compete with other players for quests or sit around looking for groups? On top of those two questions, we have to remember the first secret and ask ourselves, do I actually want to be doing this? Grinding mobs is a ton of work compared to just spamming Blizzard on some Scarlet Mimrodons. No matter how slow my dungeon group is, it doesn't matter if I'm barely playing the game and eating a three-course meal at the same time. But if I'm dialed in, ready to focus, and my group is taking a five-minute dad break to smoke a pack of cigarettes and change five diapers between every pull, then I really don't feel bad about going to do something else. I like to think about it like I'm an athlete and I care about my health, while everyone else is mindlessly living on salads covered in dressing, thinking that they're going to lose weight. I don't have to count all my calories and obsess over my XP per hour, but I do care enough to 
make sure that I'm getting enough protein and keeping up a good pace. And if I mess up and do something really inefficient, I really don't care at all because I'm focused on achieving my goal. In general, there's other things to consider, like how much money you're making or the items that you're getting while doing these things. But in general, it's almost always easier to get these at max level, and most people save all their quests for gold later and then don't actually go back and do them. You would think with all my years of vanilla WoW experience that I start mathing out my mount savings really early on. But the truth is, I don't focus on it at all until around level 37 because it's always easier to make more gold with more levels. The quest reward gold, the vendor prices from the items you get, and the silver from the mobs is always increasing the higher up you go. So putting any real thought or effort into it early on is usually wasted. And unless I bought something really expensive from the auction house, I'm never really getting my mount late either. So to summarize, almost anything could be good or bad depending on the context. Questing is great, but if you're waiting around for respawns, it could be horrible. Dungeon grinding is great, but if your tank is just standing there while everyone's full HP and mana, it could be terrible. And grinding the right mobs can be crazy experience, but it can also be way worse than the other options if you're not smart about it. All of these things require way different amounts of investment from your attention. Traveling is usually a waste of time and slows you down, but if you get on a flight path and go to the bathroom, that's actually really efficient. And the same thing goes for escort quests. They're really not bad if the strangers you grouped up with are doing it for you while you're in the shower. Being married to your calculator and forcing yourself to get the best XP per hour or just blindly sticking to something you saw in a YouTube video is just going to burn you out. I really think the athlete example is pretty spot on. You need to care and be really intentional, but at the same time, do whatever works for you. Just like everything in life, it's all about balance and moderation over the long term. Thanks for watching the whole video, guys, and I hope this helps. If you're looking to level something new, I have a guide for every single class and season of Discovery in this one big playlist here from Phase 1, and a lot of the info still applies.